Hi family, I want to give you a ministry update video. Um, I'm in Virginia here with my, my sister and her family and I'll be gone this weekend. Josh and Kayla are going to be talking about worship and what an important time that is in our church's life and our nation's life to talk about worship and a time of great uncertainty and fear. It's exactly what we need to be talking about and looking forward to hearing and joining you online and for those of you who are joining us online we're so glad that we're able to do that and really want to encourage you to do that even more um, even in the season i know the governor just released an, another statement saying that COVID's on the rise and and with the flu and cold season it's a, a terribly uh, taxing season in our state's uh, life but i just want to encourage you um, if you're all concerned to stay home and join us online we've got a online experience and want to really stay connected and make sure everybody has what they need. Um, but we don't want to close our church doors. We do want to sort of skinny things up a bit. We're going to cap each service at 75 people, ask you to register to come because really registration helps you see, okay, these are how many people are in each service. And it just really helps you to kind of navigate, oh, there's 30 in this service or 40 and this other one where there's 50 or 60. And it just helps you to do that. So I know it's a, it's kind of a pain, but it's really for you to know, you know, to help you and serve you in that way. Um, and so I ask you to register for those services. Um, also, we're going to offer kids ministry this Sunday on the 22nd um, and youth group, but then not the 29th and kind of go to uh, have kids be with their families in the service on the 29th. Just kind of also with the adult classes, um, not have adult classes meet aside from the college group, but just try to like limit the person to person contact as much as we can. And if you're serving and you're like, hey, I don't feel good about coming with the increase of COVID, um, even though we are wearing masks now in both services um, and trying to keep safe, uh, safe distance. Um, if you're at all concerned, you know, to stay home and I want to give you full permission, uh, to do that. If you feel obligated in some way, don't do whatever's best, uh, for you in the state, uh, that we're in. We don't want to close the doors. We want to, we want to celebrate the gospel together, encourage one another. We know that's super important as well in this season. And so, but do so in a safe, in a safe manner. So keep me praying, uh, keep praying for the health of our congregation and, and we're great, super grateful for how God has sustained us in this time. Um, but Wanted to let you know uh, that update, uh, ministry-wise. Uh, I know that last Sunday I heard a lot of great feedback from Pastor Marlo, who came from South Carolina, to share with us his heart and how we can be a reconciling community in greater ways. And I'm so grateful that we had the chance to bond uh, with he and his wife, Jess, and then just love them dearly and so grateful that they could join us um, for that time together. But keep being encouraged, keep being in the Word. I know Psalm 61 verse 2 says that I'm looking to the rock who's higher than me, right? And that's what all of us are trying to do. Jesus is the rock and he's our sustainer and our redeemer and he'll carry us through the season. God bless you. Maybe you'll be at peace. And if you have any questions, let us know. We're going to include in this uh, a list of things we're doing and not doing uh, throughout the week. And just kind of try to skinny up and limit the person to person contact, but continue uh, ministering to, to one another. And the best way we possibly can in a safe way. But the gospel is still our great hope. And I pray that you are leaning into God's, uh, God's grace and his wisdom and his guidance for your life and keep looking to him through all this time and he'll carry us through. God bless you. Be at peace and let us know if we can serve you in any way and we'll hopefully see you soon.